Well, let's see what we can do here. We have got a new book, The Road Character by David Brooks. I've enjoyed a lot of his books over the years. Uh, Bobo's in Paradise was a real satirical book. And he's at his best, it seems like, when he's uh, writing satire about our consumer culture that defines itself by our Porsches and our Patagonias. And uh, he really seems to like to poke fun at uh, people who have a lot of money and who aspire to be bohemians, uh, bobos, as he likes to call them. This new book seems like a departure in many ways. The Road to Character by David Brooks. I got a galley copy here. He's arguing, and I agree with everything he says in a, in a book that I mostly like. He's arguing that after World War II, we got sick of the Depression. We were sick of the war, and we wanted to party. And we created a whole new moral paradigm. Uh, the, the paradigm before World War II was one of self-sacrifice, self-effacement. It was one in which we were moral athletes. We were very skeptical of self-promotion, of uh, beating our chests. We were very skeptical of braggadocio. And David Brooks uses a lot of historical figures uh, who have this spirit of self-effacement and humility. And uh, he uses Johnny Unitas, uh, one of my favorite quarterbacks growing up as a little kid, as an example. And uh, he says he wrote this book to save his soul. So clearly he wants to be on the road to character. And uh, what he says happened after World War II is we became a nation of narcissists. We promote ourselves so much, especially in this age of social media. And here I am on a social media uh, venue, so I'm a hypocrite and I've just lost all credibility. But he says that we are into self-promotion so much that we've become these narcissists who've lost sight of our uh, moral character and he says that there has to be this tension between what he calls Adam 1 and Adam 2. Adam 1 is the conqueror, the, the ambitious one. Adam 2 is the, the part of us that wants contentment, uh, joy, meaningful connection, uh, service to community. And what David Brooks says is throughout history, there's always been a tension between these two naturally occurring oppositions and the tension has broken at, uh, to our detriment because Adam one is the dominant king and we're out of control and I pretty much agree with him and uh, what he does is he has 10 chapters in this book chapter 1 and chapter 10 analyze what I just said and then chapters 2 through 9 are historical figures who embody this moral character my only problem is I, I felt that the moral characters uh, were loosely connected. I mean, you could just arbitrarily gather a bunch of admirable people in history and write about their morals. And I thought that was a little too easy. I almost thought it was filler and really felt that The Road to Character was a, a better essay than, than a book. I still enjoyed it. I still got a lot out of it. And uh, I do recommend you read it because it's dealing with ideas that are important to talk about. Uh, the Road to Character by David Brooks. And I will see you next time.